So I'm just making I keep sure trying I'm... to find the store bot um, responsibility ghost, but I just can't find them. Okay, well, we're live now. They're very rare. Wonder why. <laughs> you know All that, right. like I said, that game, um, what is it called? Haunted Chocolatier or something? Yeah. Yeah. That That's basically Angel, but instead of like multiple ghosts, it's just one. What? <laughs> huh? Uh, Haunted, Haunted Chocolatier. Haunted Chocolatier. I mean, we're, I mean, we're live. If I now, ever so. can name those things, I'm naming one of them Angel. I'm just letting you know. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when we last left off, all of you had been sworn in as vassals of of Atherian, while the king retur returns home with army's help through teleportation to tend to justice receiving the receiving the, the quote unquote medical attention that he requires uh, as well as to uh, once again open negotiations with the Imperium. Um, he has left the care of the city of Eternia in the hands of the four of you. And, um, he will be sending a representative to, to all of you in the next, in the next few days, um, who will help you all adjust and be your advisor for the period of you running the city while you all get settled in so that's going to take a couple of days for them to arrive okay in the meantime, I believe everybody, or at the very least, uh, Rivius and Army wanted to do something with the field marshal. Indeed. And there will be, and there will be a few other things that will happen in the days before the advisor arrives. So, okay, it's yeah. time to. Well, you'd find, you'd find, I, you'd find a. <coughs> I mean, you're probably gonna be very. I mean, it's probably fine to keep your spell list in a relatively state of uh, flexibility, just because you're not exactly gonna be stagnant in a singular long rest. Yes, I know. I'm just saying, I have to prepare paste head. Indeed. Well, when that's ready, uh, you can find uh, you can find his body and you can find his body in. Uh, her tent. Okay, then. I have it prepared. He will bring in the materials with him. Alright. Uh, and we've stripped- we've stripped- we've taken his armor, we've taken his weapons. All of them, right? We've taken yeah. all of his weapons, right? You completely harmed I- yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna guess and say you pretty much just left him in his- in his calmer clothing. And then Correct. He, uh, yeah. Correct. Taking any signatory of Bane, any, any like symbolism of Bane away. All that. Nine yards, you know, y'all, all, all that stuff. All gone. He is just man. He is just man. Okay, the, um... And here come, and here rises the question. Does he accept? Does he accept? Alright. <clears throat> so, really, as you spend 
the next hour sitting with the body performing performing the uh, the incantations to offer his body his, his body his to offer his soul to return to his body mm-hmm. at the end of the hour when you finish when you finish all of the proper rites nothing happens for a moment okay okay Pack up just, and just as you begin to pack up, the body starts to shake. It sh- the body begins to shake quite violently, and after a moment of of the shaking, his eyes shoot open and he gasps. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm I'm surprised you accepted my offer. Don't try it. He... You're completely harm you're completely disarmed. As you speak to him, he looks around the tent that he's in. Looking like he's... He's looking for something. And the moment his eyes lock onto Eurovius, he... Shoots up and he he immediately says... Listen to me. What? I don't... I don't have time. I have seen things that I did not understand. Mm-hmm. My father always told me growing up that one day I'll understand him and his position. I never I never understood what he meant until you killed me. You understand? The moment... The moment you did, Bane claimed my soul. Oh, I see. Oh. It is... And... You see him, his body shake again. Uh, is there anything I can do? Uh, you can give me a... Arcane or religion check? Your choice. Uh, Same for you, Rubius. Uh, I will take Arcana. I will take religion. Do I have, can I have advantage? Uh, for this one, no. Okay. Can I have advantage? Take a 19. I'll for this one, no. Okay. Let's go! Okay, well, you know, that's fair. Ami, you can see that his body seems to be getting r- ravaged by by some kind of magic. It's like it's trying to pull him apart. Rivius, you can see his soul was willing to return to the body. But you can see from the way his body's reacting, his soul wasn't his to return. Mm. And whatever whatever actually can, owns his soul is trying to wretch him back. Is there nothing that either of us can do to intervene and stop this? You do not believe there is any way you'd be able to stop it. Unless one of you knows how to claim a soul. Unfortunately, no. That is not the route that my char- that this character took. Unfortunately. Just one instance. Uh, 
Monka. Uh, I do in fact believe someone has, try has uh, tried their hand at divine intervention. Yes, I am reading. All right, what is the A that you desire? This is gonna sound completely crazy, and I know Rivius doesn't like the man, but also, I'm not quite sure that he should have been. You know, I'm just saying, if he can save a life and make this man turn a new leaf, he can. I don't know if it's gonna happen, it's gonna work, but I want to ask very nicely if I can, uh, quote unquote, claim the soul. Alright. I'm going to guess to say, I'm going to guess and say that there's nothing I can do at this time. There's nothing I can do to help with this this time. Not really, no. Alright, roll, roll me a dice. Let's see what you get. Ten or blow. Ten or blow. D10, right? Yeah, uh, D10. D100. No, it's a D100. Oh, it's a D100. Correct. Yeah, D100, and you roll equal to or lower than your cleric level. So. Oh, uh, no, yeah, roll a percentile die if you roll, if you're an old number equal to or lower than your cleric level, your day is going to be. So, D100. D100. Ten or roll lower. ten or lower. Ten or below. Unfortunate. You call you call upon upon Moonbow and Saloon to help you, and you you receive word back from them. There is nothing that they are capable of doing. There they are not adept at interference in the realm of souls. As as his body stops shaking for a moment again, he he continues. I'm I'm sure by now you've probably heard that my father and Bane have a deal. We have. My father is going to tell you. To kill him. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now. It, it is the best course. Mm. Yeah. You cannot let Bane have this world. We didn't exactly intend on that to be the case. Should I'm... It? I'm... And he... He drops down. Uh, as of right now, yes. It is just Army and Rivius in the tent. Uh, he drops down to his knees. And he looks... He looks down. I'm sorry. And... You see a light uh, start to appear in his eyes, and he falls back, and his eyes catch fire as they are burnt from his skull, and the symbol of Bane be it, uh, is etched onto his chest in fire. The list, the list of me, of the list of things that Bane has done goes ever longer, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, I was going. It'll probably be a mercy kill, honestly, for for us to um, get rid of the undying. Yeah. The problem, the problem was, wouldn't, wouldn't all the power, wouldn't all the power that 
Bane has learned to the Undyne be returned if we kill him. Mm, it could, it could do that, or And I could, would be under the impression that, I would have been under the impression that we would have weakened Bane's influence very significantly with the, with the toppling of, of his puppet faction. Yeah. If it returns back to him, it could also backlash. There could also be a backlash. It could. Hmm. I didn't anticipate it on any soul thing happening. Hmm. I tried. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I appreciate it. But... It seems that Make it wasn't meant to be. Make soul to a different god and watch that god fight Bane for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, swear, just swear yourself to Ami, forehead. You swear yourself to the Ami Arabia's forehead? You know what's hilarious? I was like, thinking, I was like, Tiamat kind of has a place for a champion right now, right? <laughs> I don't think she'd be looking to accept him. Mm, probably not. She's probably looking for a Dragonborn. No. Hmm. Looks at the oh, pin cushion right. of her former champion. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, not his fault. He wasn't that good with a bow. Anyways. Well, we tried. It's unfortunate not much we can do about it. And something tells me that we aren't going to be getting a second chance at doing that. And pro to properly prepare to intercept next time. Um, I was, I was gonna say, but after the scene's over, I was like, isn't, can't, I think there's like two conditions that the soul can come back. I know it's like one is the soul's willing and two, the soul is a available. Oh, he's available. He's available. Is, he just can't stay long. Available. Okay. All right. I was he was willing and available. It's just that the asshole who owns the soul now, uh, was not very willing to let his soul return. Yeah. The person the person who had his soul has made him unavailable. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like Yeah, so person... unfortunately unless so we pull some now is so unfortunately, I guess so, un different. so unless we pull some fuck shit, we're unfortunately not going to be able to get him back. Yeah, I was about to say I think his soul is pretty much sealed. What if we just what if we kill what if we killed on dying and then on him too, and then we waste even more gold, even more gold. I mean, we didn't Pop. spend. I mean, we didn't actually spend anything this time. I mean, we did just get a massive payday, so all expensive. It's not that expensive. Yeah, By the way, what did we do with the armor and stuff? Like, where is it? Just out of curiosity. Oh, uh, his armor is that his armor was given to the was given to the blacksmiths to be have the magical enchantment transferred to Rivius's armor. Uh, is that a good idea? Probably. It's probably yeah. fine. It's, it's fine. just armor. Not like it was yeah, sold. Not really Do we sold know out. this blacksmith's background? <laughs> it's the Aetherian Quartermaster. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought it was some blacksmith we sound on. Uh... No, okay. it's, it was the one. It was the one that came. It was the one that that travels with the army. Okay. Good. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Rivius has no armor on. Thumbs up. <laughs> because Rivius is in his is in his clump is in his clothing. Don't tell. Don't ask me what. A it rare looks side. Like. I did. Like. Look, okay. the reason I was saying this is I don't want his armor coming back and trying to kill us. <laughs> uh, it will promptly be disintegrated if it tries to do so. <laughs> Anyways, that's, armor. that's what I was like, uh, uh. I can't believe this is my first crit in, like, eons. Um. Alright, is there anything anybody else would like to do? It's going to be two days before the advisor arrives, and that's I will be. interject. 
hey, oh. once before. Before then. <laughs> hey, that's well, good. Hey, that sure is convenient. That's about that's that's exactly as much time as we need to read these books to get our side graces. Wow. That's convenient. Wow. Oh, go on, sure, that sure is convenient. But yeah, the reason for that is that he was in the previously occupied town and he is moving over now. I will use all of my spells to cast uh, plant growth on the area while we're waiting. Wow, look at you already. Oh, right, hold on. You're just you're just gonna head out gonna head out to the farmlands and start casting plant growth? Pretty much, yeah. Poggers. Potters. I mean, what else am I going to do? I mean, I was helping out at the clinic, but I mean, <laughs> if they're good, then I would do that. I'm going to spend these two days um, reading. Indeed. So yeah, it's like one mile in radius and it's two days. So I'm going to assume he'll cast it twice, maybe, and then sleep eight hours or rest. All right. So he'll do, like, one for each corner of the uh, city? Ami will spend will spend some of the time readings and some of the time progressing uh, any progress on on commercially available non-lethal spell, spells casting. <laughs> um, roll me a... Roll me an arcana. Okay. One more level, name. have a advantage on it. Oh, that's nice. That's a 12. Alright. Uh, you... You spend... You spend some of the time over the next two days, uh... Reading up on... On spellcrafting... Uh... Uh, modifications of spells, and just trying to... Come to grips with how with how new spells are created and and discerned to try and get yourself a base to start working from on how to make spells non-lethal could i apply my former can i can i, can I apply my former experience with swapping spell damage types is that as a significant portion of scribe uh yes that that is going that will be part of uh your future you are right now trying to get a base for how spells are made and then from there, you'll be working in what knowledge you already possess. Wow! On how to change and fabricate spells. All right. So, after about a day, Elwyn, while you're when you're returning back from casting plant growth and uh, you're returning home to go and probably help at the clinic, get some rest, and get some R&R. &R. Um, you will, uh, once you reach the clinic, you will see a familiar uh, short green individual as you see, uh, Punk Slack the Third staying at the doorway to the clinic. Greetings, friend. Ah, Elwyn! Excellent! Good to see you again, buddy. We did quite a number on this place, didn't we? Yes, you did. Well, it has been a day, and my people are starting to get themselves settled in uh, as much as it has been resisted by some of the locals already but that's issues to work out later first there's the issue of uh, our deal i obviously do not expect you to fulfill it instantly uh, these things take time oh thank god it's reasonable park but i do want to remind you that when the winter is finished, I would like to discuss our agreement on me and my people being given our own land. That is reasonable. Um, I do 
however want to ask for its interim could we have a uh, ambassador to our town that while you are staying here a diplomat of sorts oh, I shall fulfill that duty myself great and he, st he, he stands a little bit taller and short and puts his hand into his into his clothing and sort of tries to make himself look a little regal we would be honored to have your presence my friend good because uh well i don't have too much going on right now there's no explosives to smuggle no and he looks around there's children children are weird I do have a question, though. Is there any um, immediate concerns of the beast? I mean, of the of your people? Ah, most notable concern is where is where we're all going to stay, since we have two choices: we either continue living out in our camps, which get mighty cold in the winter, or we find a place here in the city, which all well, the city's a little full. Well, I will discuss it with the others. Maybe we can maybe um, have some supplies sent your way if, to help with warmth. I'll be much appreciated. I'll likely stop by your uh, your throne room in a, in a day or two so we can discuss things properly in a more formal setting as opposed to just out in the street. I again say it, is, it would be a, it would be an honor to have you. For now, me and my people are going to get out and get ourselves some more firewood. We, uh, we're running a little low. He'll nod, and, um, he'll nod, and he'll just say that he will meet him when the round table, or I guess we're going to call it the round table, when we have the meeting. And, uh, he'll skip off uh, down the street. Um, uh, I will tell the others, though, um, what he, basically, what he said. I'll convey the message. Alright. Um, Rivius, dur during the day, while, while you're, um, while you're at the, the palace, um, are you going to try to assassinate me again now that I have lower AC? <laughs> um, while, while, while you're in the palace, and uh, Ami, you'll be there too, because you'll likely be running, taking notes and running numbers for... Of course. Uh, keeping track of everything, doing the bureaucracy thing. Um, uh, Linku will come walking into the throne room. That was the, little, that was the real guard right guy, right? Yeah, yes, that, that was wow. the former royal guard. Yeah, Linku would be in super cool and pog and... <sighs> Place has not changed much aside from the crystals being destroyed. Yeah, yeah, we, we did that. So, you know. <laughs> Never did like them. But, eh, yeah, I mean... pretentious. We certainly, get them. Certainly, certainly had their fair share of magical cap capability, though. Shame, shame, their, them, shame their sense. Shame their... Shame your... Shame their fabricated. Uh, the crystals we mine from, uh... Uh... Small... Uh... Mine that we have... That... The, uh... The Undying like to keep off the books. So you probably won't find too many documentations about it. I um, actually yeah. don't even know where it is. Just heard one of the wizards talking about it a few years ago. Do you have any general idea in what direction? Unfortunately not. As far as I know, it was a decently set up my operations. I'm sure if you went looking for it, you could probably find it. Hmm. But... Unfortunately, right, okay. I don't know where it was. Maybe you can find some documentation, but like I said, it was mostly kept hush hush. Of course it was. Well, all right, I'll keep it in mind. Um, how did how did it go on your end? 
considering we're all alive, it uh, obviously went well on our end. Well, uh, I, I was able to assist a lot of the peasant folk with making sure that they were armed and ready once once everything started to kick off. Well, we lost quite a we lost quite a few, but mm. we managed to do surprisingly well. All things considered, uh, we haven't fully tallied up losses yet, but I estimate probably around 400, 500 dead. Surprisingly Not low. Not as many as I was expecting, honestly. Surprisingly low, all things considered. Mm, the For uh, peasants, most of whom we've never hold, held a sword before, they were surprisingly confident. And sometimes confidence is went to a lot in battle, especially when your enemies demoralized. Yeah, it didn't they, they weren't exactly having a particularly good day. We also had we also got widespread defection off the Woodrow speech. And your contribution. <laughs> You're welcome. So that helped both the morale of our troops, the combat effectiveness of our troops, and the the uh, was a severe blow to the morale of our enemies. And, uh, just a general blow to the numbers. But, why are you here, mm. friend? Uh, mostly wanted to pop in and say that I'll be leaving the city again in, in a while. Time to return to the farm. Hmm. Got, uh, got my boy to look after, after all. But I did want to say... Those of us outside the walls have never really had proper representation in the, in the city. So, You're since I forward. hear the four of you are all going to be leading the city from now on, I wanted to offer myself forward as a representative for the yeah. farmers and ranchers outside the city. We will happily accept. Yeah. He'll at least be. We'll at least be leading for. We'll at least be leading the city for. Eh, at least the winter. At bare minimum through the winter. After that, we will see what happens. Well, I'm. If you if you lead if you lead a city as half as half as well as you lead a revolution, I'm sure you'll do fine. <laughs> we. I mean, we kind of left a lot of the smaller details up to the people we gathered. It's. It's more or less we just put ourselves to the spearhead and uh all right, we're See, generally you're pretty already good at that. good leaders. Delegation. You flatter us very very much really good. Believe me, doing everything hands on is not a good way to run a city. You're gonna you're gonna want to get yourself a lot of advisors and representatives. That means people, and people are annoying sometimes. They are, but they're also important because they take yes. a lot of the pressure off you. And they also. Wait, I'm probably not there. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if Anaya wants to be part of the council. I should send her a message. Well, I can definitely tell you that she'll want to be representing the poor, whether that be on the council, whether that be on a council itself, or simply as a ambassador for them. Or... Will be up to her, I suppose. No, I certainly want to check in with her since I uh, haven't gotten more or less uh, her side of the action, where where she stood through it all. So. Yeah, as far as I know, she's mostly spending time at her at her at her shelter right now, since she converts it into a clinic for the fight. Hmm. Fair choice. And apparently, she's been drawing up plans for building more throughout the city that she wanted to bring to y'all. Well, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Indeed. But I have... I have a void to look after and food to go and cook, so... We also have the winter to look towards, so... Yes, I need to, uh... Need to I need to dive. go and see what I can salvage of my harvest that the boars didn't destroy. And, uh... If you're going to be, if you're going to be looking, if you're going to be our liaison to the, to the, to those outside the wall, you're going to have to 
make a habit of checking in with all of them too, or as many as you can. Don't worry, we already have our own little network set up out there. Thumbs up. I did offer the the head of the tribe a seat at our discussions. What? Hmm? Sorry, what, what did you say, Tyson? No, I said, um, I offered the goblin, I mean, the, yeah, the goblin, their leader, um, a diplomatic position to... Oh, well, yeah. I don't know if I told, I don't, I think <laughs> I would have told y'all that, but just making sure. I also uh, think the explosive of the goblins could help expand the mining network, maybe. That is always a, that is always a dangerous proposition, most because hello, structural collapse, not goog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, but it could expand yes, the mines course, yes, in a course rather short time. Yes, of course it could. But that's dangerous. And we always have to assess our options. <laughs> Well, I mean, I shot that one barrel, and it turned out fine one. <laughs> Tyson, oh that God. is... Tyson, that is hardly a freaking fair or good comparison. I know, I'm sorry, that was that was, that was Tyson talking, not Ellen. <laughs> that was... Anyways. Anyways. Uh... Oh. All right, so as the day comes to a close, the following morning, um, at the ruins of the of the uh, of the South Gate, um, arrives a small caravan. And as it as it pulls in, um, it makes its way through up through the streets of the city towards the towards the palace. And um, all four of you have gathered at the front of the palace. As out of the back of the elite cart uh, hops out. Uh, three individuals. A... A, uh... Rather... Stout-looking individual with, uh... With a cloak over... With a cloak over their head is flanked by two... Two men in... Um... In Aetherian armor. He quickly quickly walks up towards towards all of you before pulling down the hood of his cloak and you you are met with a dragonborn oh. good day wait a dragonborn in a thing wow this man this man does not probably does not have a good uh, <sighs> reputation <sighs> I mean, it is common knowledge that the Dragonborn don't exactly like the dragons, in most cases, so... <sighs> and he will outstretch a hand, uh, offering it to whoever wishes to shake it. Name's uh, Kenneth. Ami um, will stretch her, for her. stretch her hand forward. Name's Ami. Ami Silvertail. At your service. Rebus Moon here. How you doing? I'm doing quite well. Um, My surprisingly comfortable cart the king paid for. It's the king. It's the I king. He ask. is very... Um, he's very loose with his money. Um, at, at the time. Um, you're a dragon boy. I mean, um, this is going to sound extremely rude and I apologize. You're the first dragon boy I've ever seen. Yes, we do. We do tend to be a rarity here. Most people tend to uh, shun our kind. 
and do the dumb. Yes. They they see the scales and the nose and they they kind of jump to conclusions. I can't blame them, especially after what what dragons have wrought upon no. this world wrought upon this world. That's actually what these what these two what these two boneheads of are are for. And he uh points to the two guards to the two soldiers staying behind him. They are my personal bodyguard because um pretty much consistently every every year or so uh, someone tries to shank me. Is surprisingly really okay with this? I, have you seen uh, scales? Scales are really. I mean, in just terms of like deflecting small, small blades, scales are very nice. It is. It is very true, and also after your tenth assassination attempt, it's, it's, it starts to get boring, honestly. Um, what are you? What is the spelling of his name again? One moment. There you go. Uh, his name is Tarith. Yes. Well, um, Imps. Um, El like I said, Elon would probably go just take his hand at some point, and he could probably see the scales on his hand. Yeah. As, as he shakes your hand, Elwyn, he looks down, looks down at them, looks you in the eyes, and gives you a, gives you a big toothy grin before, uh, giving you a nice firm handshake. He'll smile back, but probably not as wide as him. Now, I was sent by by our uh, our glorious king to uh, help advise you all on how to run a city, since I have uh, spent quite a lot of time in 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 the king's court. I uh, I do have some expert. I do have some experience in running a city. And I also bring with me a gift because this cart was not just for me. Go fetch fetch the things. Uh, sir, we should we're not we're not allowed to leave your side. Have you seen the Minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think I'll be fine. I I think I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Don't worry. You can go five feet away from me to go and fetch some bags. <laughs> and get the car and get the cart driver to help. He looks bored. I mean, if we really wanted, we could also have Gore help. He isn't That's exactly. True. He isn't exactly one to sit around and do nothing. Excellent, because um, we have a lot of gold to bring in. Ah yes. Ah yes, the king Sloan. did say that he small, has a the, uh, small loan of one million gold. Damn it! I was gonna say I was like, you know, should I do that? <laughs> should I make the check? Eh. <laughs> Under the stolen ID. I mean, I must now kill Revius in ritual combat. I mean, you'll hit him. You'll hit him easier. He doesn't have his armor on. <laughs> I don't need to hit him easier. I just need to make. I just need to make him make saves. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, right, I so... just need to make him make deck saves, and he'll die. No, I can. I have a ring of evasion. You you have to make you have to make me do four. Okay. Uh better question. uh better solution. I'll just make you make con saves. You know what that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um Gore, the two guards, and the cart driver will start all hauling in bags of gold it's gonna take a bit because you have to bring in one million bags of uh one million gold worth of bags augers and place bags. them into the treasury oh boy you know what i tap i tap gore with a tail he has haste 
Because <laughs> I ain't sitting through all this shit. Alright, so. While they're doing with that. Oh, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, with haste, it, it it will all get done very quickly as uh, Tareth walks into the palace itself to go and get himself settled into into uh, the throne room. Ellen, go, to go Ellen, Ellen as, as absolutely magnificently unlikely as it is, please go watch over that man. Please make sure he does not get stabbed. You, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, probably use... It is um, so magnificently unlikely. But please make sure he doesn't get stabbed. It wouldn't look very well on us. Yeah, if I'll probably somehow cast, should I... uh, pass, without, uh, pass without trace on me and whoever... Well, pro mm. I don't... I... Okay. Making yourself... I'm pass make, without trace on myself. Making and yourself then... harder to see is the counterproductive. You want to dissuade people from trying in the first place. Well, I mean, we just also do want to get rid of criminals if they do. Fair enough. Just use your bond Especially if they're bold enough to rob um, a famous uh, minotaur. Remember, just remember to use your blunt arrows. Your blunted arrows. Alright. And then he'll... He'll, um, yeah, I'll basic... Well, actually, you know what? I'll... I don't know what do you what serious question what do you think y'all would be better me stealthing or me just being there with him probably being there with him since probably. you know yeah at this point we're well known enough that people yes. wouldn't mess with somewhere. okay yeah i was just gonna say stealth that way if he does get robbed i could just you know donk the, snipe donk, him from donk the, the shit donk the out of ever living shit out of someone with an arrow with a yeah. blunted arrow <laughs> Actually, um, somewhat in relation to that, something I meant to speak up earlier about, uh, Gore hmm. would have, um, during his first day, uh, put out a notice for any of the, uh, deserters, um, and, uh, gladiators who, especially the ones who don't have families to return to, to, you know, gather up so he can organize them and maybe offer them jobs in turn to, like, robbery. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at this man. Ow, look at the look at you. Chad. All right, so that that is something that can definitely be done with uh, without too much issue. That can notices can be placed throughout the city. Yeah. Pretty much turn them into a uh, labor and uh, security force. We can uh, we can return them. We can get. We can also. Uh, it was it was going to be planned eventually, but uh, you also eventually give them the choice to return to gladiator. What does a volunteer? Yeah. Not a, mm -hmm. not by force, good yes. lord. And not, and I'm gonna guess and say not to the death. <laughs> not to the death. If you, if you, if if you kill someone, you die too. No one, no one wins. First blood, first blood situation. Yeah, sure. yeah that would be what Gore would have done with his time, other than reading, um, just to, because yeah, more security and less people who are likely to turn to crime. At the same time. Hey, poggers. Poggers. Anywho, moving on. Yeah. And giving and giving the and giving people who are minorities work because currently the minorities the only work they've ever had is slave labor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also think like I know we can't start this now, but like before the winter before spring we'll have probably some of them be farmers. Yeah, that's what I said, and labor force. You know, if they don't want to return fighting or, you know. Well, I mean, we're not going to... We're going to have to tell them they can keep the crops, probably. But... Yeah, you know. I, well, pay that and also, like I said, though, like, we can pay them to work on, on the crops and, you know, take a cut <laughs> of the crops for and give them money for that. Yeah, yeah basically. Actually, I should pay them. They, they keep what they need to, you know, keep themselves alive, and then we basically buy the... Yep. But yeah, An economy! Hog! Alright, so... 
Terrence has himself an escort in the form of Elwyn as Gore is sprinting up in and out of the of the palace carrying bags of gold. Um, as the two guards and the driver are lag behind, being not as strong and not as fast as Gore. Um, and as as the unloading is happening, uh, Tarith will walk into the palace and he will just look around and give a big whistle. I would whistle, but I can't. Lamal. Well, Damn, this is extravagant, isn't it? You can thank the you can thank the previous owner. Lots of black, I see. Yeah. We're followers of Bane, after all. No, well, black and white isn't the worst color pattern. At least it is a bit dark from our taste, but we can fix that later. Yeah, we make it black and blue. For now, so. I think. That's the situation we need to deal with, and he points to the throne. Yeah. Oh weird. yeah. Don't, a, touch, don't touch that. Don't touch that. It's a bit. It's a bit big, and uh, I statue. don't think it'll fit four of you. Uh, it won't. Also, uh, one of our one of our comrades sat on that, and we what we can guess, Spain talked to him, and then promptly kicked him off the chair. So, mm. don't sit on the chair, please. Don't well, the then, I, think... I don't think the king would appreciate you being possessed. Well then, I think one of our first expenditures with our money is probably to get some builders in here. I mean, I rip just... out all these statues and rip out that throne. I mean, I get four new ones. I mean, I was about just... to say, we would you probably we would probably break it. Hard... You probably have some hard time finding local people to do that because you know Bane worshippers just. I mean, can't really have worshippers desecrating a Bane statue. But I mean, we, we can also pull, have we can, we can, multiple we, builders. We do, in fact, have multiple builders that were that did assist us in the construction of the clinic. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, my bad. Do not, please, do not throw away. Please, do not set aside to the people that helped us get to this point. Oh, and that would be a grave mistake. Well then, sounds like we got people who we can employ. We just need to, we just need to get the get the money and equipment needed to uh, clean this place up a little bit. We can worry we can worry about about slapping on a new coat of paint later. Indeed. For now, I'd like to get all the iconography of Bane out of here. Understandable. My wizard has the hiccups. <laughs> Don't worry about it. She'll be fine. There will be no accidental castings. <laughs> imagine a wizard get hiccups and accidentally cost fireball. Uh, can, you imagine, can, can you imagine a uh, wizard sneezing and it uh, suddenly sounds like the incantation for like a fireball? Or shatter. They sneeze and they literally shatter something. <laughs> I feel like that would probably be something that would that would more affect a sorcerer, like a wild magic sorcerer. Oh, 100 percent. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Anyways, then uh, from there oh. we probably need to organize some talks with the merchants to get some trade set up. I probably need to organize you some meetings with the representatives of the other of, the, of a few other kingdoms. Because yeah. uh, I have the distinct feeling we're not going to have enough food in the store slots this winter, so we no. might have to trade for some. No, we will not. Granted, given that the fact that we that a revolution has just finished within the last two days, a two-week revolution just finished in the last two days. Uh, no, no, we probably don't, because trade was being significantly interdicted by the. Mercenary faction of the Nightborn and the Etherians. The Etherian merchant fleet. Yeah. Well, not merchant fleet, but you know what I mean. 
Uh, we're gonna have to probably look look through the city and repair damages that have been done, especially to residential areas. Uh, we're gonna have to talk to the nobility and get their stance on everything because they're probably very upset at the de at the deposition of their previous uh, benefactor. Uh, I frankly don't even want to deal with the nobility, but unfortunately, we're going to have to. They are. And and they are then necessary the, evil in the in the gears of the economy. And then there's the problem of the racism, the extreme amount of racism that is present yes, within the uh, Imperium day-to-day. Uh, -day the life. I've already seen that the uh, the beast, the previous beast races and long-lived races are integrated into the are integrating into the city, and that's going to cause a lot of tension. Yes, of course it is. We need to... <clears throat> Either we need to tax the nobility, we need to set up a, ta a tiff, a tax. A we need to get, make, we need to get, make sure the nobility pay at least a little bit of their, um, <clears throat> basically I want to tax the they're gonna be upset. You want to institute a wealth tax? Yes. No, well, it will take a little bit of uh, finagling of the of the bureaucracy, but we can get that done. It'll certainly help fill the coffers and make sure that we can that we don't burn through our our million gold in the first week of us doing of us doing all this. I do have a question of, uh, what did the nobility do before this? Oh. Uh, by and large, they, they mostly, from what I understand, they mostly pay, paid their, their way through, oh. uh, through a economic stimulation, use of the markets, use of the entertainment districts. No, uh, I mean, like, they had to have had... I mean... What kind of power did they have before? Like, other than buy, other than purchasing stuff? Ah, the power of the nobility... I will have to spend some time to know the true extent of it, but likely it was quite... Ex it was quite powerful here in, in the city, considering the fact that there are royal districts around at the palace, and... Yeah, well... Nobility will often uh, will often be the majority owners of stall of merchant stalls and high end shops in in cities like it this. Could, it could also have been a keep your enemies close thing for the emperor. Very much could have, yes. We'll have to discuss with the with a noble's representative to see how their actual opinions are so i will set that meeting up as well have to find out who is their representative so i gotta put that down and he he pulls out a notebook and starts writing things down let's see um as as he's busy writing things down um anaya comes walking in into the palace and uh, she at the moment she walks in through the door of the throne room, she just stops and just stares. Yeah, it's pretty extravagant, isn't it, Anaya? I don't think I have seen this much wealth in a single place ever in my entire life. Yeah. Um, Liko, Liko mentioned something to us the other day. You wanted to build more shelters and clinics in the city, yeah? Oh, yes. Uh, especially with, with winter coming, we need to be able to feed people. And, well, uh, considering our food stores are running low, soup's one of the more efficient ways to feed people. If we can get soup kitchens spread throughout the city, it'll probably help out a lot. Yeah, um... Anaya, this is Tereth. Tereth, this is Anaya. Uh, Tereth? Uh, Dragonborn? Yes. Yes, um, it's, it's good to meet you, um, Anaya. 
correct? Uh, yes. Good to meet you, and I. Uh, I am. I am the official representative of the king here, here in the city of Eternia, and I will be. Uh, I will be helping these four as they come to grips with managing a city. And there's certainly a lot to be managed. And he gets. He goes back to writing in his notebook. We'll probably want to dot them all across the city, uh, various different locations where people gather, squares near near the market is probably a good place. Just wherever where the where wherever we can gather a lot of people and preferably get a large building. Okay, maybe we should start writing this down instead. It's uh, go ahead. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a long and harsh winter for a lot of people. So I want to help out as much as we can. Yeah, we could get person her uh, her uh, her gang to help spread the word about those soup kitchens. Maybe we can get more builders and laborers. Um. They are quite efficient messengers. They proved that much during the revolution. The in Yeah. Oh, I need to set up a meeting with Paris. And uh that's another issue we're gonna have to deal with at some point is the amount of homeless kids that are Well, everywhere. We could set up orphanages. They that did help us gather information too, so we had to remember yeah. that. That 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 was my thought. We set up some orphanages, but we have to make sure that they're set up properly, of course. We could ask person her again what she what they prefer. Yeah, we can always do that. Yes. Because having the opinions of children for an orphanage would probably be best than, you know, than we, than being like... Than forcing our adult views onto them? Yeah. But also, I, I think I can probably say, I can probably set up an orphanage pretty well. I come from a, uh, it's a pretty sizable family. And, well, outside of that, I don't really have too much that I need to discuss with all of you yet, so... Um, I'm going to, uh, leave now, because this place... This place makes me uncomfortable with how expensive it is. Yeah, I'm scared well, if I touch anything, I'm going to break it. I mean, we welcome it, we, uh... I mean, we are looking to redecorate. We are demolishing this place anyway. Oh! Hmm. Speaking of, uh, can you get some of your laborer friends together so we can start the demolition? No, oh, uh, of course. I'll start talking to some of them as soon as I get as soon as I uh, get back to the shelter. Thank you, Anaya. Well, it's good seeing you all. I'll start uh, drawing up a preliminary map on where I think is a good place to put shelters. Okay. And as she, as she walks out, uh, Tareth, uh, will look up from his notepad. Well, she's very nice. Um, uh, Tareth, I need you to write down that I need to set up a meeting with, uh, Purse. Purse? Yes, he is a leader of a, uh, <clears throat> cloud gang that we befriended during the revolution. They still see, uh, they're really, they're very useful. We met them because Ami got her, got a, something stolen from her. Huh. Child gang. Hmm. Not sure how comfortable I am with that, but, uh, thing needs you, must, I suppose. You take what you can get when you're mid-planning revolution. 
Yes, yeah, yeah, indeed. Need some muscle. Nice. All right. Uh, meeting with purse. I'll make sure. I'll make sure to get that sorted for you then. Oh, if you find, uh, if you find her, <laughs> let um, let her know that maybe a sent you. <laughs> it's very specific. He probably won't talk to you if he just thinks you are a random adult. Mm. All right, and he he notes that down. Ah, then we have we have the issue of we need someone to represent to represent the guard because the previous represent representative of the guard is um and he turns the page in his notebook um. Missing. Missing his eyes with the symbol of Bane burned into his chest. Ah. Ah. Right. Zane. Okay. Uh. Do I have sent? Do I have sending prepared? I don't probably. So we need somebody uh, to be uh, our liaison between between the guard and. Well, the rest of the court. Uh, we do have a we do we did befriend a general. We His did name is general Woodrow, but I don't think I don't. I haven't seen him in a few days. Hmm. Well, I will note his name down and see if he's willing to have a chat with us. He probably will. He did want to. He did wish to retire from active duty at least. I'm sure, he wouldn't. I'm sure he'd like. Settling down into a more passive role. Well, I say passive, but non get your get killed. Non more paperwork. More paperwork, less sword smash. Yes. But more or less. And his his wife is a pretty uh, how you say established fighter out of her own uh, against her own will, but you know. Out of. Out of survival because she was one of the gladiators. Mm. It's quite established fighter. Fighter. So we do also have to, have to just de determine how much of the guard is Bane followers too. Yeah, so a, a representative in the guard will be very important for that. Because whether we like it or not, Bane is kind of points at statue in the throne room. Bane is kind of ingrained in this society. We don't plan on outlawing worship of him, but we are certainly certainly going to We certainly need to cur we certainly need to curb its its systemic ingration in Yes. In the city. Yes. There's a lot of elves in the city, so I can um I'm elves. sure there's elves. Elves. Hmm. The Lady Moonbow and Lady Saloon prefer elves for their followers. Hmm. No. Particularly Lady Moonbow. Particularly a Lady Moonbow. So they would probably do want a. They would. The the pair would probably appreciate a little temple. Probably, we could probably repurpose more than a couple of the temples of Bane. Although we probably have to be very careful about it. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Might be easier to, to instead of repurpose, because I saw on my way in that there isn't really a temple district. Might be a good idea to repurpose an area of the city into a temple district, but that'll be a process that has to be undertaken off after the winter because we'll need the space for homes. Also, we do probably need to make a new statue of Bane, regardless. Ah. <laughs> uh... That is a dis that is a discussion to be had for another time. Uh, 
Then, what else is there that we need to do? Let's let's see. Uh, we got taxes for the rich. We've got invest. We got insur insuring the guard. We've already. I I've seen that you've already started to discuss methods of solving the food shortage. Oh. Evelyn, did you talk with the little go your little goblin friend? Yes, I did. Um, when we do have our formal um, first meeting, um, we do we will have goblin representatives here. Um, they were instrumental, and they also um, are very skilled. Uh, What's the word? I'm trying to think of the word. I can't remember what it's called. The person that goes explosives, but I can't. Demolitionist. Demolitionist, yes. They're skilled demolitionists, yes. That's it. Well, uh, I will. What is the name of the Scotland representative? Punk Flag the Third, I believe. Hmm, Punk Slack the Third. Oh, I I remember his I remember his father, Punk Slack the Second. He was he was a quite the legend amongst amongst some artificers. Uh, all right. So that in that. That involves uh, so that involves us having to provide provide some shelter and assistance to the beast races. Religious reform needs to get needs to begin, which that's going to probably take several years ultimately. But the societal. process can begin at least. You might as well roll religious reform into societal reform because they're more or less the same thing at this point. Yes. Well, as it currently stands, the very least we should get we should get temples up to represent the various gods that I believe the four of you are champions of, which I know the cleric is Saloon and Moonbow. I don't know about the rest of you. No, the king simply told me that you were Champions of gods set to become them yourself, which I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around, but I'm trying to ignore the existential dread that's causing me. Um, and blame you. Quick question. Um, I know Bahamut really hasn't told me. <laughs> you know, he says that you're my champion, and that's basically it. Well, you got chosen by a dragon, and that's that's more or less the that's that's it. That's what I was yeah, about to say. I don't you're think... Mo you more or less belong to him. For better or worse. The only th well, well, the thing I'm asking is, I don't think he wants me to evangelize people. Yeah, uh, it might be... Let's wait on the dragon. Let's wait on the dragon first. I, mm... dragon I, also think, I also think building a temple to a dragon might not go down too particularly well right now. Yeah, apparently, I, I probably mean, unless, not. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I think we, we may we may need to do more extensive societal reforms to change people's opinions on dragons because that is a issue across the entire continent, not just here. Well, I we've learned. Well, we've thing. learned that Bane might have also been behind why the dragons were acting the way they were throughout the the Dragon Wars. Ah, well, that's always wonderful, isn't it? Indeed, it is. We've learned, we've learned many things about we've learned many things about the time of the Undyne and Bane's partnership. There's a so apparently there's a lab around somewhere where they uh. Hmm. It's not too pretty, from what we heard. Oh, so, uh, temple to temple to Bahamut. Let's uh, let's put a pin in that one. 
Uh, what about with, the rest of you? We could start with a shrine. Because... Um, maybe a small shrine, yes. yes. Um... I believe that, um... I'm not quite sure, actually, the other two. Saloon and Moonbow are the go are the twin gods that the Claire that Rivius follow, and I am the champion of Mistra, but I do not actively follow her. I do not actively follow her in worship. Well, a temple to Mistra still might not be the worst idea. It's always a good place of education. You can at least supplement for for us. For a school until we can get proper schooling set up throughout the city. And I do believe that um, Gore is a champion of. Uh, that would be a helm. Ah. Uh, uh, I do believe that Gore. that one. That one will be very difficult to stop from being vandalized while we Are sort out the systemic issues of Bane. But I hard. think it will still be. I still think it'll be very important to have a temple to someone like Helm here. Considering justice has been missing for so long, yeah, kind of important. It's also the matter of the gladiatorial pit, hmm. since that's more like that is currently empty. Maybe used as a just I don't know staging camp, but as it stands, I hate to see the area be set to rot, but there'd be need to be there'd need to be some serious reforms. Uh, anyone yeah, who would the... who would dare enter would uh, be under their own power to enter, and there would probably oh, there would hopefully be significant regulation to make sure that it is no longer to the death and is for sports mm -hmm. as opposed to survival. Yes, I'll I'll. I'll take a walk through through the place tomorrow so to get an idea of what we're dealing with. But I'll yes, I'll give it to all those perhaps terrible cells. Yes, I imagine it probably acted as a prison as well. Very large one, very very large, much larger than we thought. So I've heard. Ah, <sighs> but. Then we have the issue of uh, the trade, of setting up trade, which I will have to get into contact with some of the nearby kingdoms. Uh, Ellen uh, will point at the crystal structures that are destroyed around the throne room, since we're all kind of there. Could we maybe sell this, maybe? I, I kind of wanted to keep it as a symbol I mean, of, the say, of the day we toppled the Imperium. Okay. And then, that's, yeah, Elwyn. That's just my vote. I feel like we can sell some of... We can keep a small portion of these crystals. Well, maybe not, maybe not sell these in particular, but maybe find where these came from and oh, maybe we... have them. Did say that they had a decent they, was, they were they were fabricated, but the place that they were originally mined from, where they were fabricated, was somewhere and decently well set up. And so, but, they, but they were off the books. So they we were in fact off the books. Because, because I mean, how, do we know that mining is their major export? Uh, the major es export of the Imperium is marble and clay. Really? Not iron? I thought. Okay. Um, they, so marble. They and do. Clay. They do have. They do have large a large iron deposit, but it's never really been exported. They mostly keep the iron. They mostly kept the iron to themselves. Okay. So iron. Shocker. They do have. They do have major iron mines, but they, by and large, did not export it. But that can be changed. Obviously. Okay. Um, we could probably will need the clay to build marble. Um, I, I don't know what. What do y'all think we could do with marble? 
Um, to give you an idea of, of how much marble they have, this entire throne room is made out of white and black marble. Nice. <sighs> so that gives you an idea of how much marble they have. Um, what's the wood situation? Are we not going to know that till he does his thing? Uh, you, you know that there are, there are decent forests around to get wood, but as, as of present, you do not know the wood situation inside the city itself. Okay. All you know is that the beast races don't have enough wood, which they are collecting themselves. They also have easier access to it, but yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we can send our prospectors to try and find the mine. That won't be too expensive. So. We have a lot to get done. I am going to start sending out messages to various contacts. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of the merchant representative, the noble representative, the Woodrow, as well as send out messages to some of the nearby kingdoms to see if they're willing to trade. So. The lot of you can probably spend the majority of the rest of the day doing whatever it is you all do. And I will send you all a message once I have contacted this Woodrow of yours. Okay. 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 Yeah. And uh, well, she'll go back to trying to figure out how to make spells non lethal. I would right. like to continue. Uh, she will, she will use skill experts. She will use skill, uh, skill empowerment, as uh, she will use skill empowerment uh, as she goes, just to make the process a bit easier. All right. Um, give me a quick arcana roll, just so we can see how that progresses. Uh, what can you make yourself expertise in this time? Expertise. Ah. Uh, Plus 16, wowie. Roll the 10. I, um. <clears throat> imps. Yes, hello. Uh, what do I need to roll to try and contact Bahamut? Um, if you want to try and contact Bahamut, it will be uh, a religion check, and I will let you use your wisdom for it. Uh... Alright, I forgot that's a thing in this world, TBH. You can use wisdom for religion. If you're a cleric, generally. Um, alright, so. 18. Okay, we'll sort that out in a moment then. Okay. Uh, Ami, as, as you'll spend the next few hours, uh, reading up, starting to write down, uh, your own experiences with changing the elements of spells and upcasting spells and how that affects affects what elements you're able to change them into uh, you you start to get a understanding for what you might need to start the basics of making a spell it's still gonna be a little while a little while and there's gonna be a lot of trial and error but you're starting to think you might be ready to practice at making a spell in the near future.
Wowie. All right. <laughs> All right, Elwyn, let's deal with this. All right, so. Um, how, how would you, would you go about trying to contact Bahamut? Well, I would probably grab the amulet that he gave me and just try and mimic what, um, Rivius does. Cause I'm pretty uh, you sure look, by... You look for the moon and all you see is the sun. It's a little blinding, but you, 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 talk, <laughs> you, talk, you talk to the sky. Um... And, yeah. and, um, you try, you try, you, to contact Bahamut, talking to the sky, like you're trying to have a conversation. And after a moment, you get, you get a reply, um, as you hear a draconic voice in your head. Ah, you've actually decided to attempt speaking with me. How can I help you? Um, I just never really thought to do this. I'm kind of new to this. But um, I do yeah. want to ask, what would we are brought the probably What would... Hold on. This is just me being weird. Um, What would be the best way to bridge the gap between dragons and humans at this point. <sighs> Honestly, at this point, I'm not entirely sure. I feel, for many, it it's still a fear that dragons will return and destroy everything I want more. Well, there are some who would do such a thing. Not all would. Perhaps a good a good demonstration would be to track one down and see if they'd be willing to interact in a non-aggressive manner with the city. I will do that. We have to find one first, but I will begin looking. Um, you know what? Uh, I will I will let you roll for this one because it because uh, see if let's see what you get. Roll me a um, roll me a flat wisdom. All right. Um. You will remember that when you were in the library of Alexandria, that there was mention in a book about a dragon in the Bright Forest. There was, yes. You outside know, of that, that. Outside, outside of that, if you want to try and track down a different dragon, that that is that is up to you. That'll probably be, like, something I do, I guess, before, or, I don't know, I feel like I might need everybody there, because it's in the family. I mean, okay, okay, the only person you should, the only pa the only person that you would really de facto need is Dami, because she knows Sylvan. No one else in the um, party does. Yeah. It's more and if and you actually run into anything dangerous, of, you know, if it's I get... just if you run into anything dangerous, hold monster, run the fuck away. <laughs> what? You think I'm dumb? I know what I know how char I know my character, but also, hold monster, have Elwyn go in, pew 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 pew. Giga crit to infinity and I beyond. Shoot and fish in a barrel. Correct. Like shooting fish in a barrel with a shotgun. Correct. Um, 
Um, can I make like another flat wisdom check to see like how? Well, I mean, I guess I wouldn't really know how dangerous to fail I'll be on a solo adventure. Um, what you would know is the Feywild's pretty much always considered to be dangerous, whether you're in a large group or by yourself. You, uh, again... The dangers are just different. The, 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 de the, de fact, the de facto only person that you would really necessarily need to, to want to consider a reasonable exploration into the, into the Bright Forest would be Ami. No Sylvan is Fey, has Helm of Teleportation. Is Omega magical? Just, yeah. just throwing it out there. And also, she would absolutely love to go hunt down a dragon, not to kill, but to talk with. Yeah, I'd probably, yeah, maybe, yeah, we'll set that up to do sometime. Just me and Ami, I think. I don't think the other two need to come. Plus, it's just like an exploration type thing, not a really, you know, like combat. The, inten the intention, is, the intention is go there to talk to the dragon, not to kill the dragon. Correct. Yeah, basically. This, this would be like, the point was... at which I grief my party and hold person all of them, if they tried to do anything <laughs> stupid. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's. Just like, just like, what? <laughs> oh, Amps, how long does oh. it take to um, upgrade my armor? Uh, your armor would have been upgraded at the end of, would, will be upgraded probably the end of the day. Okay. Rebius isn't going anywhere any, so, right now, so. <clears throat> Alright, so. Um, Tareth, um, closes up his notebook and, um, goes, uh, goes up to the throne room and goes, goes up to the throne and goes to one of the side tables and, uh, starts to write some notes. Um, is there anything the four of you would like to do, uh, for the rest of today? Not really, I'm just waiting for my armor to be done. Uh, I've told you what I'm doing. I yeah. am probably gonna help at the clinic, that'll probably be what I do for the rest of the day. Alright. Um, Since I'm done with plant growthing the four corners of this... Gathering the, uh, people, I guess, the gladiators right. and whatever, whoever else All decides right, so, to come. Alright, so let's resolve that. So, Gore, you gather up, you've, you've put out the messages, and today is the day that you set for everyone to come and meet. And there are a good, probably... 15,000 uh oh dear prisoners and other long lived races that have arrived in the towns in the city square. Thousand? You said? Yes, 15, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. This man said yes. 15,000. Ah, I see. And they all and they're all gathered around mumbling to each other, talking between each other. As uh, they're what waiting. Are the long -lived races? <laughs> what are the long lived races um, live within the beast tribe? Other than minotaurs? I think that you said there were minotaurs, but. Uh, yeah, minotaurs uh, live amongst the, the beast races. Are orcs considered long, long lived? No, they, no, they actually they are short, pretty short lived. Yeah. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay. Or, orcs have shorter, have shorter lifespans than humans on average. Okay, just taking notes. Uh, Gore looks surprised by exactly how many, seeing them all, you know, at once instead of you know, bring a few from the prisons at a time and then. Everyone seemed to start spreading out and causing chaos throughout the city. Yes. 
Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> um, and uh, the mumbling all all starts to quiet down as everyone turns to look at where Gore is. You are all free now. And we need we are in need of paid labor and assistance here and that could help you all get back on your feet in this area if you choose to stay uh Gore's negative charisma is showing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what one you hear someone shout out from the crowd? What work we're looking at here? We need construction. We need farm labor. We need guards to keep order. Uh, in both lo important locations and just to patrol. We need hunters, we need all sorts of labor, and these will be paid positions, of course. You see, er the chatter starts up again as people are talking to each other. And uh, you hear, Yeah! You need, you need construction! Me and my boys can get can help you out. We used to we used to do some we used to do some construction work back back before we came here. Mostly in mines, but construction is construction. Hmm. Building a house is probably easier than building a tunnel. Probably. And you see a you see a group of uh, ten dwarves. Yes, yeah, so that'll be essential in these coming days with the winters going to be a bit rough and we need to shelter as many as we can we're always happy to help with hunting we pretty good with bows when we were finding the pets and you see a group of about 200 mix of elves dwarves and uh, teethlings Uh, should probably organize them, and then he will start pointing in directions like, oh, "If you're, if you're interested in the construction and not fighting any longer, please gather around over there." And he points over to the. Uh, you said it was dwarves. Yeah, yeah. The ones who spoke up with dwarves, at yeah. least. He points over to the dwarves, and also beckons like the one who spoke for it to maybe at least talk to him later again. Like, um, for the hunters, you know, he points in another direction. Uh, if anybody's interested in being guards, and he points in another, you know, in keeping the peace, protecting the, the people of the city, that would be always appreciated. And then. I guess so. After separating into those three groups, um, or four actually, because he would point for labor too, like farm labor. Yeah. He would see if there's anybody else just sort of standing around, not interested. Uh, all right. So as people start to move around and chatters had, and people seem to have conversations about it, about what they want to do, if they want to do things, and how they want to help. Um. You've got five distinct groups. Uh, what looks to be probably around a thousand to a thousand five hundred people who want to help out with construction and building. Uh, you can see upwards of maybe two thousand people who want to help with hunting. A smaller group of about five hundred who look like they want to be guards. And about uh, 4,000 or so gathered up that want to move towards labor. With the remainders just 
sort of standing around in the middle. Yeah. Not looking like they're too interested in joining in, in, in any of the sides. If you don't make a choice today, that's fine. You can join up later. <laughs> any of the groups that have been ready to form, or if you have other things you're interested in, you're free to go. I will warn you right now that if there's any Things are going to be difficult, and if there's anyone making it even more difficult through banditry, you will meet a swift end. You see the uh, the group in the middle start to have conversations amongst each other again. One of them pipes up. Ah, I don't think most of us will be will be resorting to sign like that. I. I think a lot of us still just want to leave this damned city at this point. You'll be free to and welcome to, and I will... Let's see, how you said that there's about 4,000 of them? Uh, yeah. Yes. It, it won't be much, but I will personally uh, give you a little something to get started. Um, we will have to arrange that before you leave, of course. Uh... You are welcome to stay through the winter. <laughs> Preferably, if you could lend a hand, that'd be great. Uh, if you do that. If you would like to leave earlier, that is also your choice. And, uh... I guess for later, I'm going to put aside, like... For my personal wealth, you know, like, uh... For people leaving, you know... A small bag of gold each, probably. I don't have to figure out how much. All right. There's a lot of people. And yeah, my wealth isn't infinite. So. <laughs> All right. That's a little reward for for fighting for everyone's freedom together. You will be compensated still. As um, as you finish addressing addressing the group, everyone starts to slowly disperse, and um, you see um, you see as everyone finishes dispersing in the from the central group, the group of people who had no, not too much interest in helping out in any any respect you see um you see a gnome continue to stand in the square after everyone else has left i would approach him uh since everybody else is leaving and he's sticking around and it's like kind of curious and uh, hello there um did you need anything now while uh, everybody's leaving. Um, n n not not so much. It's more of um. I don't really know what to do. I. I uh. I I, I guess for me it's it, it's a little different compared to a lot of the others. I had only just gotten to the pits when everything happened, so I'm not a fighter. Hmm. I've never been particularly great at building. Um, I don't know the difference between a hoe and a pickaxe. So I'm These not going to be are... much of a help farming. These are all things that can be learned, if you're interested. Um, sure, they wouldn't mind the extra help if, and if it took a bit for you to become helpful. Did you have a family to return to? Uh, no, un unfortunately, my entire family was uh, lost when I got taken. My condolences. Is there anything you are good at, in particular? Any skills you've picked up in your life? I've always been pretty good at... at uh, 
designing things uh, like I, I remember always taking apart like the small little like machinations that my that my dad would bring home I, I don't know how useful uh, I suppose a designer or a what do they call them What is the word I'm looking for? Ah, artificers. Artificers. Oh. I like making things. Well, I personally don't know much about that myself. I'm sure one of my companions or... I'm sure there's someone skilled around the city who could... use your assistance then. Well, I was going to be leaving for Ethereum, but uh, mm -hmm. if there is something, I'll, I think I'll stay. I think this could be a <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. If you do choose to leave for Ethereum, uh, the king there has his group of artificers. They're very busy right now with an important task. Not sure if you're experienced enough to help with it, but you can always offer. Say that we sent you. Just get you in the door. But if you stay, I'm sure we'll find something for you. Well then, I think I'll I'll try sticking around at least through the winter. Let's see how things go. Um, I'll stop by some time and speak to one of my other companions who are more versed in that sort of field. Or at least intellectual things. I'm, uh, I'm a fighter. I hate being good. Yes, I hate good. I hate being good. Nodders. Uh, well, th th thank you, sir. Um... I'm I'm glad I didn't have to live through any of the horror stories that I I heard from the other prisoners. <sighs> I'm just glad we got them out of there. And uh do you see this little gnome waddle? Waddle waddle. In yep. That'll be that for extra activities for gore other than the reading. Alright. As it starts to get close to the evening, um, all of you, all four of you, receive a message from... Um, uh, I'm, I'll remember his name eventually without having to look back. Uh, Tareth. Okay. Um... Uh, it's a simple message of uh, Woodrow is waiting is waiting at the throne room for for you. And that's sent to all four of you. Okay, we get to the. Ellen would probably just head right there. I don't think she would. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at this point, Revius, you will have your armor. He'll put it on. He'll be late for like, he'll be uh, behind 10 minutes because he has to put it on by himself. 10 to 15 minutes and then he'll probably waddle in. Uh, Alright, so. Everyone gathers up in the throne room as uh, Woodrow is standing there waiting for all four of you. As each of you enters the room, he greets you. And uh, once once everyone is there, is I believe you've all been looking for me. I've uh, sorry I haven't been in touch the last few days. Oh no! How are you doing? How are you how are you enjoying the um, 
the peace. Uh, so far, not too much peace. I'm currently organizing my my uh, my army to help out around the city with clearing of rubble. Uh, how is your wife doing? How is she adjusting? Uh, she's currently spending a lot of time at home just catching herself up. Okay. She uh, she had herself a hearty meal last night. She's mm -hmm. feeling a lot better for it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna take her some time to adjust to life outside of her cell, but we'll get there. In the meantime, I believe you were all looking for me. Yeah, we need a. <clears throat> We need a uh, representative for the guard. We need a guard. We need a liaison between the guard and us. As the last one, unfortunately, had, had seems to have a soul, a soul stolen by Bane. Oh, that's a very um bad. We uh we tried to re we tried to resurrect the field marshal and uh. Fortunately, we didn't get much time with him before uh, it happened to him, too. Hmm. So... I've heard a couple of accounts of, like, old... of previous... Uh, high-ranking officials in the city having their eyes burnt out and the insignia of Bane burnt into their chest, so... Seems like Bane may have been trying to uh, deny you the previous power structure. Seems that way. You weren't going to let him stay where he was. You're going to give him the chance to enter the life as a uh, relive, uh, get whatever he could as a life as a civilian. But unfortunately, that's not possible now. He still would have had to stand trial, even if he did live, though. Of course. He isn't a war criminal. He wasn't a But, uh... I think I can do that. It'll be certainly a nice change of pace. I saw the... See? Nude like it. See? Nude like it. Mm, besides, I think a lot of my army would probably like to get off of the battlefield, and I can probably convince a lot of them to join the guard themselves, honestly. Well, it should anything need to be leveraged, um, I probably don't need to leverage the power of an army, or, uh, kind of, uh, you're kind of looking at one. <laughs> yes, you, you all certainly have managed to do a lot. Frankly, it's impressive that we're going to have numbers on our side for once. We're not used to that. Well, it happens upon occasion. But for now, um, I suppose I should probably get prepared to start my new job tomorrow, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should, yes. <sighs> Gonna have to... Hmm... And I have a lot of work ahead of me, because, uh, well, the whole, s the whole system is corrupt, and the base of the system on is corrupt, and, ugh, this is gonna be a, ref it's gonna be a lot of reforming in the city, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um. Nodders. <laughs> you might have to tell the guard, the guard that, um, we're oh, the rich are gonna love that. It, I mean, I don't really think there's much they can do about it, can they? Ugh. They're gonna be upset about it. What are they gonna do? Kill us? Try to? <laughs> no, what's more likely to happen is they'll leave. 
that's what I was worried about was them just leaving. They could probably nail them something if they try to leave. Maybe. Oh, almost certainly. Chances are ninety percent of them have committed some level of crime. And if they have, well, then we're free to send our Minotaur right after them. Because, uh, I don't think any of their staff is going to be persuasive enough to uh, dissuade uh, Gore here. But uh, I trust I will be directly interacting with Gore then. You'll probably be interacting with all of us. Uh, in more terms of yes, you should yes, the security yes. of the city. Yes, in yes. terms of just direct security, you will more likely you you will be under gore. Hold on. Have to be to what that what to do with all the mage ca with all the mages of the city. Let's see where they stand. Well, many of them are nobility themselves, so. That should be fun, then. I can't say I'm surprised, Indeed. but that should be fun. Hey, I don't suppose you anything, know anything about the, this lab, then, the, this psionic lab, this psionics lab that the Undyne had, do you? Hmm. Uh, I know... I know that there were always rumors amongst the higher... the higher level command, commanders about once once you once you get promoted to a certain rank you uh you disappear for a week for advanced training they call it and then you came back with what they called a uh, higher higher functional um leadership skills so i'm going to guess that's a no I don't know directly, no. Okay, well, might have to break all the old legend. Might have to break all the old the old legend more then. I'll take any information I can get on it, just because the more I know, the more specific legend lore gets. Have uh, you talked to Liku about it? He might know something since he used to be a royal guard. We asked him about the the uh, the mine that the crystals that you see around us came from. Uh, we didn't get much, but. Yeah, we did get we did get that it was due to, it was notably well situated. Yes, it doesn't it won't hurt to it won't hurt to ask the same question to you. Do, you. do you know anything about it? I know it was off the books though, but you were relatively high up. If it was a if it was a well situated mine, chances are they would have used carts to bring to bring in the gems. Then might be able to find the. I don't know where the mine itself is, but I might be able to try and find some car tracks that don't that don't follow any of the main roads. Well, if you can do that, that would be appreciated. If you can do that, I should be able to probably head up by head out there by myself just to investigate the area. <laughs> no, should be able to find should be able to find this place if it's well enough established. They would have used carts to move things around. So yes. A road that isn't on any of the maps or just out of the way car tracks will probably be a good place to start looking. I can put some scouts on it. Would be appreciated. And uh, he gives the four of you a bow. She will back back. She will back back. And uh, then he will turn and leave the throne room. And as he does, um, uh, Thirth will will walk in will walk in to take his place. Oh, all right. And one last thing for today before we uh, all head off for. A good, a good night's sleep amongst ourselves. Uh, in the coming days, we are going to receive representatives from three kingdoms that I managed to get that I managed to get them to agree on the potential of a trade deal. 
That was fast. That was fast. You, yes, you must have. You have good connections, don't you? I've been doing this for long enough, and these kingdoms have not been easy to trade with. With their mm. proximity to the Imperium. Yeah. Uh, but I've been doing negotiations with them for a while to try and one day open trade routes, so... This has been years of work in the making. Time for it to finally pay off. So, we have the Kingdom of Goldcrest. What? I wonder what they have to bring to the table. This is that is sarcasm. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of silver. Oh. Uh, but also, they have some of the most fertile farmland in the in the entire in the entire region. So, they certainly had a good harvest this year. Okay. They are run they are led by King Elliot, who Well unfortunately he's not the best in terms of kings. He's inexperienced. Being only 16. Okay. Bring that down. He's also very... He's also very quick... He's also very quick to anger and... Easy to... Uh... Upset. No. no. It's like both Alex's I know. <laughs> well... Fuck you too. <laughs> it's not my fault emotion like emotion and regulation is a piece of shit. No, this is a joke. Next is is the Duchy of Armor with mm. uh, with Duke Benedict as its leader. What probably the small the smallest of the of the monarchies around this area. With uh, Benedict being very ambitious in his desires, but also very understanding of his limits. So, we can probably get a good trade deal from him. One of the... One of the uh, better... Parts of him is he's recently entered his 40s and he's been ruling for about uh, and he's been ruling for almost 20 years so he's got a lot of experience behind sitting in that throne okay he even made a play for even made a play to become a king once but that didn't work out for him okay and finally is the the trade partner that we've actually dealt with in the Kingdom of Etherian once before. Um, and they're quite quite the one they're quite the ones since they are ruled by merchants. It's the Fris the free city of Whitebridge. It's a single city, but they have the economic power of well they have more they have a larger economic standing than the Kingdom of Amor. Hmm. Or, sorry, the Duchy of Amor. And they are led by Mayor Cornelius. <laughs> um, so that's out of character, by the way. Sorry. Who himself was a leader of a merchant guild before he bought the city. Amazing. And has since turned it into what he is calling the first merchant republic of, of Valerian. And he is... One moment. And uh, he is a tiefling from Faerun. Hmm. Just entered his 65th year a few months ago. 
Oh, he's old. So we're we're going to be seeing the uh, representatives from those from those three coming in the next over the course of the next week. All right. And uh, from there, we'll have to decide what kind of trade we'll be trying to do with them, if we even decide to trade with any of them. They all have benefits and drawbacks. I'll have a full write-up for all of you on what their various kingdoms are, or what their various holdings are all about in terms of their laws and their... their failings because unfortunately to be a ruler in this part of the world most of them are not good people hmm. well I considering can... we got here by deposing the last person I don't think they would view us very favorably either when we start playing. The, one th the one thing I can say that I won't be surprised if it immediately sours in negotiations. The the Kingdom of Goldcrest is a kingdom that still employs slavery. Not of not of specific races, but as a general thing. That's nice. At least and at least it's a, it's equal slavery? Question mark. And the free city of Whitebridge still uses execution as a viable method of punishment. I what kind of execution? Beheadings. Oh. And dehandings for for thieves. Hmm. Bodily mutilation, I might say. I see bodily mutilation. Uh, nice pocket. Yes, unfortunately, we we find ourselves in a part of the world that has been <coughs> racked with tyranny and oppression for a very long time. Honestly, uh, Duke Benedict is probably the nicest, and well, he has had a few accusations of um, murder leveled towards him. Well, he's not special. Honestly, I have murdered multiple people. Yes, uh, you've murdered people in combat. I'm talking about political assassinations. Oh, uh, political assassinations. But overall, they are our best bets because, well... Other places either have nothing of value to us, or are just as bad as the city that we are now occupying. It is a, an unfortunate place in the world right now. But, considering the fact that this city has always been a beacon of... of... Uh, of inspiration for the rest of the for the rest of this part of Valerian. I imagine if we make large systemic changes around here, we'll eventually start to see them spell out towards the other cities and kingdoms. It is if they don't resist them. Oh, uh, there will be resistance, but the pe the people get what the people want. After all, we proved that here today. Well, we proved that here a few days ago. And then, in terms of that, we need to... I have set up a meeting with us for the leader of our local merchant guild, Khaleesi. Oh, can I have the spelling of that, please? 
she is always been a a strong negotiator, but she is a she's a temperate woman. I've had many discussions with her before. In fact, we I still owe her a drink. So I'm probably going to have to pay that back when she gets here. Damn. I don't drink anymore. <sighs> I'm going to have to see if I can find a good bottle of wine in the city. <sighs> uh, that's my own situation. <clears throat> um, and I have the representative for the nobility lined up for tomorrow as well. Uh, Kion's soft gift. I see. Can you spell that for me, DM? Yes. And, um... I don't know too much about Keon, aside from the fact that he's a Leonin. Oh! Huh. Which, considering the fact know... that... Hmm? Go ahead. Do we know who he... How much he supported the old... The... Field Marshal or the Emperor? Well, uh, from everything I've seen, he is a loyal servant of the of the no of the noble of the nobility. So, John Zari was quite loyal to the old guard. But who it's knows? He is a beast a race, which means that he was enslaved and oppressed, just like all the others. So perhaps he perhaps he's amicable to our to our side. Seems like the old guard is gonna be just a pain in our side throughout this whole process. When are they not? I guess just addressing the elephants in the room. But for now, I have been, I have used all of my messages for the day. I have been awake for 16 hours or so. Ah, it sounds. And I have written till to, and I have written so many letters that my hand aches. So it is time for me to head to bed. Have a good night, cute Thank you for your uh, diligent and thorough work. Oh, we're only just getting started. Tomorrow we have to start writing contracts. Yay! Oh joy! That'll be fun. Because it's time to stop. Because we're gonna have to start getting. We're gonna have to start paying people. Because Anaya got back to me about about her builders. Yeah. So it's gonna be time to start negotiating prices, contracts, work orders. Lots of work needs to be done. We've got a long week ahead of us. Like you said before, when has it not been a long week? But I'm gonna go and get myself some sleep. I have already had my bodyguards, uh, Dust a room for me. Dust? Probably. Yeah, players. most. Yeah, most of the rooms in the place were, have been not used for a long place. So they're all dusty. Mm -hmm. Amazing. 
it's gonna be nice to sleep on a bed instead of in a cart for one for a day. As uh, you see him walk off uh, towards the towards where the bed chambers are. I look to everybody else, and I'm just like, we, we should probably hire some spies of some kind. Spy master. Hmm. This is true. But I don't think we need to get it in that touch right now. I know, just, just saying with all we know now. I would I worry, I would worry about just getting in any sort of actual income first. Where we did any of that we don't know exactly a million gold is a lot but we also but we also don't know how much how far it will actually get us well we know that fighting pits are a good source of income maybe not the best source but a source i mean it has to be consensual i mean i'd be well, i'd be willing to do gore that sounds like fun Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Gore looks like he's, you know, thoughtful yeah. about that. Is like trying. He's already looks like he's trying to formulate plans. <laughs> how he would, how he would fight you. Uh, like, yeah, like why not? I mean, I would have used it. I would have done it in the. I would have done it in the get, fight against the field marshal, but uh, just blasting him seemed better, and uh, I have a. Sne I have a feeling that it was very much the correct choice. Instead of using a spell I picked up called Tensor's Transformation. I have this new sword too, so... I have the... the, uh, the martial sword, so... why not? All I'll right. probably, probably get myself a... Potion of Hell Giant Strengths just to put us on the same, just put us on the same field, but everything else, everything else is up to uh, us. A show like that could actually probably draw in quite the attention from. Yes, two of the, the people. Who, two of the pe Two of the people who just that who just spearheaded the. Downfall of the previous government? It was throwing down like at each other? Even if, even if it's friendly. That would I I believe that I believe that would be quite the spectacle. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! The internal pits are the place to be. Oh my god. I mean yeah, I look, if it brings us in money. Can <laughs> you imagine a gambling ring for for this? I can. I would have hoped there would be TBH. Because that sounds <laughs> funny. Besides, there's probably gambling rings. Pro a lot of people probably lost money when Gore won. <laughs> and somebody probably made a, and somebody made a killing when Gore when probably. when you won. Probably yeah, yeah. someone probably, probably made a hell of a payday. We should probably find that person and be like, hey buddy. Hey. Can we, we get some kickback from <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I would like to continue going. However, I desperately need to go to the bathroom. Okay. So I think this is a decent place to wrap up today's session. Yeah, I have a lot of things I need to think about now, I guess. Well, now. I want to lay down. Yes, I'm, yeah. I need to do think so, about a lot of things that there's like a halt, but there are, in fact, uh, s some things that are slightly more enticing than interesting. Not to be disrespectful. Things that yeah. my character is slightly more uh, interested in. So, um, thank you all for playing. Thank you. Always. Thank you for running. And uh, I shall be back.